If you're interested in a smart PoE switch, then watch this video. Hi, Gary Cruz with GaryCruz.com here. I have an Almox 5 port gigabit PoE switch where four ports are PoE at 78 watts. It's a gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch uh, made out of a st sturdy metal housing and it's uh, plug and play and has built-in traffic optimization. So here's the box, pretty basic on the outside. And it has four ports at 78 watts each. And it's designed with the IEEE 802.AF AT standard. And Almox PoE Ethernet switch can transmit network data and power at the same time. And this gigabit switch offers a maximum of 78 watts power output in total. So each single port PoE can power up to 30 watts and meets power supply requirements of various applications. In my case, I'll be plugging in a security camera that is PoE. Uh, it typically plugs into my NVR, but I want to try this out and see how that works out. It has a gigabit ethernet and the Almox network switch features 100 slash 1000 megabits per second ports and enables ultra fast wired connectivity and instant large file transferring. It's unmanaged, but it's easy to set up and it's plug and play. So opening this up, it's a uh, sturdy uh, metal case and it has some nice heft to it. And you can see the four ports on the left that are PoE and the WAN port on the right. And let's go ahead and just plug this into my network and see how this uh, works out. It's a uh, fanless. It has a fanless metal housing. The metal housing design makes the PO switch reliable and used in different use cases. Fanless design gives you a quiet and noise free environment, which is pretty nice. So we've got four ports here and an uplink port. It also supports one key VLAN. Uh, in one key VLAN mode, all ports are isolated from each other effectively suppressing network faults such as network storms, ensuring good network transmission performance and security. I'm gonna be plugging this into my network with this Cat7 cable, it's shielded. These are pretty great. I've been using these for a while. Check out the description in the link below to find out where to get these on Amazon. So in my use case right now, I have my camera plugged into my NVR. I have everything plugged into my patch panel from my NVR and that supplies the video, which is a hike vision NVR in case you're wondering. So I'm going to test one of these uh, ports and plug them directly into the Almox four port gigabit switch. And then I'll plug that into the network to see if I get video. And uh, the key thing here is to test the PoE capability because these cameras are powered over ethernet. So I'll take this camera, unplug that. So one of the cameras should disappear from my display. So you can see on the top right, one of the cameras is blacked out and it's disappeared. Now it shows no link. And if I double check the PoE settings on the NVR, I can see how much of an output each of these cameras are taking from a power perspective. All right, now I'm gonna take that ethernet port and then plug it in to the PoE switch here. So I plugged it into the fourth port. It doesn't matter which port you plug it in and you can see the indicator lights. So you can see right now, uh, each of my cameras are taking no more than eight watts and the third camera is disconnected. So I've got eight watts, 4.2 watts and the disconnected one. I'll replace this by plugging it into one of the ports on the Almox uh, Gigabit PoE switch. Once I plug it into my patch panel, it'll reconnect to my NVR. And then the back of the patch panel that connects to my NVR. And let's just see if that reconnects. There we go. We've got some indicator lights showing connectivity. And we'll let that refresh. So one of the ways you can use this is that if you want to extend the number of cameras to your system and uh, you can put this in another location of your home 
And there, the picture re reestablished, and that's the camera that's in my garage here in the top right. And so now the the image and the power is coming through this PoE switch. But as I was saying, if you wanted to put like, let's say, let's put this switch down in the garage and add some additional cameras down there without having to route cables all the way back to this network closet in the second floor, then that's a good way to use this switch. Another way to use a switch is if you have PoE access points and you wanted to add them throughout your home and not route all those cables back through the walls. You can just have one cable, let's say, going up to your upstairs area and then have all your APs plug into this. You can provide power to that. So that's another use case for the switch. All right, I feel pretty confident that this is a good solution for those who have those particular use cases. If you want to extend your camera network or your access points using PoE, this Almox is a good solution for that. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I review technology and gadgets in general. I'm currently reviewing my QNAP NAS setup and also I'll be doing additional videos on security and VRs. Uh, check out the description for additional links related to security cameras and how to get those connected in your home. I work closely with Infinite Tech Services and they have a really good channel if you're interested in security camera videos. This is a pretty solid switch. I highly recommend it for those looking for an inexpensive PoE four port switch to add to your network. These are great if you want to do some testing of access points or some security camera systems, as I mentioned earlier. The benefit out of this one is that it has no fan, so there's no additional noise. And I didn't detect any noticeable heat being generated from this device. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button on the way out and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.